magical insects. They flutter and flutter through the garden, gathering nectar and pollinating plants. And raising butterflies is a wonderful way to understand insect life cycles, insect body parts, insect behavior, and how to steward these amazing creatures. Today, I have the chrysalis of a pipe vine swallowtail right here. Um, I brought this inside when it was a caterpillar and fed it its host plant, Dutchman's Pipe, until it got big and fat and it turned into a chrysalis. And so I'm going to raise the chrysalis um, until it emerges as an, as an adult and then I'll release it back into the garden. So cool. You might find all kinds of caterpillars in your own garden, maybe monarchs, um, fritillaries, whatever you have the host plant for. What we're gonna do for this project is we are going to raise painted lady butterflies. They are so easy to raise and to care for, and you really get an up close, personal look at how these creatures begin to grow and live their different life cycle. So you can see it right now. I have a little sugar water on my finger and it's trying to gather up some nectar, but I can look closely at its wings and its different eye spots. I'm gonna go get that butterfly later. We are gonna start our journey of raising painted lady butterflies with caterpillars. You can order caterpillars or larvae same thing, um, from a number of different butterfly nurseries or science education companies. And a lot of times, the larva will come in a little cup with food all ready to go. All you need to do is just put this in some safe place in a room temperature environment, and those larvae will eat and eat and eat until they get bigger and bigger until they form their chrysalis. Sometimes, however, you may want to or you need to create their own little habitat. So take a cup, this one is about a four ounce clear plastic cup, and you're gonna take a spoon and some food that comes from the butterfly nursery or science education company. Take maybe about a tablespoon, a little more, a little less, it doesn't have to be exact, and you're going to mash this on the bottom of the cup, okay? And once you have it here, then take a stiff paintbrush and take your larva and gently coax it onto your paintbrush. Gently slide it into your new cup. From here, what you wanna do is take some filter paper. I have some really thick paper um, towel and you're gonna kinda of make a little circle. And this circle goes right on top. And then you can put your lid on here. And you want to poke a few holes in here so it has some air holes, although there's still air that comes through the lid of this cup as well. So now, that little caterpillar is going to eat and eat and eat, and when it's ready, it'll climb to the top and it'll form its chrysalis.